All right. Well, I'd like to start by thanking Terry and Tony for raising such a wonderful young woman. So, a big round of applause for that. And Steve and Brenda, I'd like to thank you for trying. So, sometimes it just doesn't work out. This, this hot mess is not your problem. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Nick's brother-in-law, Chris. Um, and I'm married to his beautiful sister, Ashley. And very quickly after Ashley, Ashley brought me home to, to meet her family the first time, Nick became my annoying little brother that I was uh, so fortunately not graced with in my own family. So uh, we, go, we go back almost a decade at this point, which just makes me feel sad and old. But uh, I think we can all agree today is really, it's a beautiful day, but it's a really, really sad day for men around the world because Italy is officially off the market. <laughs> And for the ladies of the world, it's probably just another day. So, um, you know, I think they say the key to a, a good wedding speech is to, to shower the bride and groom with compliments. And for Emily, that's an easy box to check. Uh, you know, she's beautiful, she's smart, you know, she's pretty, she's kind, all those things. But for Nick, you gotta dig a little deeper, you know. And sometimes it's like things like, well, he's got hair. <laughs> Intelligent words come out of his mouth from time to time. He invited me to Florida. So I didn't want to go down that road. So I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you kind of three tips on marriage from, from my heart, and, and hopefully they help you guys. So first one is for Nick. Nick, this is probably not the case right now because you guys are newlyweds, things are fun, it's new, all those good things. But at some point, Emily's favorite pastime is going to become yelling at you. And when that happens, your favorite pastime needs to be getting yelled at by Emily. So those are words of advice. I mean, yeah, that, that will work. So if you're good with that, and things like no closet space or counter space or opinions, it'll be a good life. So, you know, happy wife, happy life. Let's remember that. The next one, Emily, is for you. Uh, I, would, I would just give you the guidance to uh, treat Nick in the same manner that you treat the children you work with. So, small words, lots of treats. Don't move too quickly. Yeah, patience. You know, kid gloves, all, the, all those good things. And, and then the last one is for you too, Emily. Uh, you have married the textbook definition of a bandwagon fan. Yeah. So I just want you to be aware that every year, whoever you are cheering for is probably going to change. So whether it's the Cubs or Alabama or some other SEC school, I'd say, I'd say Illinois or UGA, but we all know they're not very good at it. You know, but you're going to have to change a lot. But I can say that the smartest thing this individual has ever done is hitch his wagon to you. So, uh, and I, I, I am confident he will be your number one fan for a very long time. Yay! So, and I actually, Ashley and I got you a gift. I'm going to go grab it. From what we can tell from the face space, uh, your favorite pastime is taking selfies of yourselves. So, now you guys can fit in with all the European tourists on your cruise. Uh, and now I'd like, to, I'd like everybody to raise a glass, if you got it, to the most important people in the room. And let's wish Nick and Emily a long, happy, SEC, sorrow-filled, perfect selfie, Big Ten success, lots of laughter, lots of love. Cheers. Emily, welcome to the family. Nick, congratulations on marrying up. Thank you.